Genome, Wikipedia Audio In terms of modern molecular biology and genetics, a genome is the genetic material of an organism. It consists of DNA. The genome includes both the genes and the non-coding DNA, as well as the genetic material of the mitochondria and chloroplasts. A genome is all the genetic information of an organism. For example, the human genome is analogous to the instructions stored in a cookbook. Just as a cookbook gives the instructions needed to make a range of meals including a holiday feast or a summer picnic, the human genome contains all the instructions needed to make the full range of human cell types including muscle cells or neurons. The term genome was created in 1920 by Hans Winkler, professor of botany at the University of Hamburg, Germany. The Oxford Dictionary suggests the name is a blend of the words gene and chromosome. However, see omics for a more thorough discussion. A few related ohm words already existed such as biome, rhizome, forming a vocabulary into which genome fits systematically. Non-technical overview a genome sequence is the complete list of the nucleotides that make up all the chromosomes of an individual or a species. Within a species, the vast majority of nucleotides are identical between individuals, but sequencing multiple individuals is necessary to understand the genetic diversity. In 1976, Walter Fears at the University of Ghent was the first to establish the complete nucleotide sequence of a viral RNA genome. The next year, Fred Sanger completed the first DNA genome sequence, Phage Phi X174, of 5,386 base pairs. The first complete genome sequences among all three domains of life were released within a short period during the mid-1990s, the first bacterial genome to be sequenced was that of Haemophilus influenza, completed by a team at the Institute for Genomic Research in 1995. A few months later, the first eukaryotic genome was completed with sequences of the 16 chromosomes of budding yeast Saccharomyces cerevisiae published as the result of a European-led effort begun in the mid-1980s. The first genome sequence for an archaean, Methanococcus janaskii, was completed in 1996, again by the Institute for Genomic Research. The book would contain 23 chapters, each chapter contains 48 to 250 million letters without spaces, hence, the book contains over 3.2 billion letters total, the book contains approximately 20,000 different recipes, which together make up less than 2% of the letters in the book, most cells carry two copies of the book, these books fit into a cell nucleus the size of a pinpoint, in meiosis. The genetic material of gametes is divided in half to create egg and sperm cells, which have only one copy of the book. The development of new technologies has made genome sequencing dramatically cheaper and easier, and the number of complete genome sequences is growing rapidly. The U.S. National Institutes of Health maintains one of several comprehensive databases of genomic information. Among the thousands of completed genome sequencing projects include those for rice, a mouse, the plant Arabidopsis thaliana, the puffer fish, and the bacteria E. coli. In December 2013, Scientists first sequenced the entire genome of a Neanderthal, an extinct species of humans. The genome was extracted from the toe bone of a 130000 year old Neanderthal found in a Siberian cave. New sequencing technologies, such as massive parallel sequencing have also opened up the prospect of personal genome sequencing as a diagnostic tool 
as pioneered by Mantea Predictive Medicine. A major step toward that goal was the completion in 2007 of the full genome of James D. Watson, one of the CO discoverers of the structure of DNA. Whereas a genome sequence lists the order of every DNA base in a genome, a genome map identifies the landmarks. A genome map is less detailed than a genome sequence and aids in navigating around the genome. The Human Genome Project was organized to map and to sequence the human genome. A fundamental step in the project was the release of a detailed genomic map by Jean Weissenbach and his team at the Genoscope in Paris. Reference genome sequences and maps continue to be updated, removing errors and clarifying regions of high allelic complexity. The decreasing cost of genomic mapping has permitted genealogical sites to offer it as a service, to the extent that one may submit one's genome to crowdsourced scientific endeavors such as DNA.land at the New York Genome Center an example both of the economies of scale and of citizen science. Viral genomes can be composed of either RNA or DNA. The genomes of RNA viruses can be either single-stranded or double-stranded RNA, and may contain one or more separate RNA molecules. DNA viruses can have either single-stranded or double-stranded genomes. Most DNA virus genomes are composed of a single, linear molecule of DNA, but some are made up of a circular DNA molecule. Prokaryotes and eukaryotes have DNA genomes. Archaea have a single circular chromosome. Most bacteria also have a single circular chromosome, however. Some bacterial species have linear chromosomes or multiple chromosomes. If the DNA is replicated faster than the bacterial cells divide, multiple copies of the chromosome can be present in a single cell. Most prokaryotes have very little repetitive DNA in their genomes. Some bacteria have auxiliary genetic material, which is carried in plasmids. Origin of term Eukaryotic genomes are composed of one or more linear DNA chromosomes. The number of chromosomes varies widely from jack jumper ants and an asexual nematode, which each have only one pair, to a fern species that has 720 pairs. A typical human cell has two copies of each of 22 autosomes, one inherited from each parent plus two sex chromosomes, making it diploid. Gametes, such as ova, sperm, spores, and pollen, are haploid, meaning they carry only one copy of each chromosome. In addition to the chromosomes in the nucleus, organelles such as the chloroplasts and mitochondria have their own DNA. Mitochondria are sometimes said to have their own genome often referred to as the mitochondrial genome. The DNA found within the chloroplast may be referred to as the plastome. Like the bacteria they originated from, mitochondria and chloroplasts have a circular chromosome. Unlike prokaryotes, Eukaryotes have exon intron organization of protein coding genes and variable amounts of repetitive DNA. In mammals and plants, the majority of the genome is composed of repetitive DNA. DNA sequences that carry the instructions to make proteins are coding sequences. The proportion of the genome occupied by coding sequences varies widely. A bigger genome does not mean more genes, and the proportion of non-repetitive DNA decreases along with increasing genome size in complex eukaryotes. Most bacteria have little or no repetitive DNA, hence their typical protein coding capacity is in the range of 85 to 90 percent. However, some symbiotic bacteria have reduced genomes and a high fraction of pseudogens 
only 40% of their DNA encodes proteins. Simple eukaryotes such as C. elegans and fruit fly, possess more non-repetitive DNA than repetitive DNA. Higher eukaryotes tend to have more repetitive DNA than non-repetitive ones. In some plants and amphibians, the proportion of repetitive DNA is more than 80%. Similarly, only 2% of the human genome codes for proteins. Non-coding sequences include introns, sequences for non-coding RNAs, regulatory regions, and repetitive DNA. Non-coding sequences make up 98% of the human genome. There are two categories of repetitive DNA in the genome, tandem repeats and interspersed repeats. Short, non-coding sequences that are repeated head to tail are called tandem repeats. Microsatellites consisting of 2 to 5 base pair repeats, while many satellite repeats are 30 to 35 BP. Tandem repeats make up about 4% of the human genome and 9% of the fruit fly genome. Tandem repeats can be functional. For example, telomeres are composed of the tandem repeat tag in mammals, and they play an important role in protecting the ends of the chromosome. Sequencing and Mapping Viral Genomes In other cases, Expansions in the number of tandem repeats in exons or introns can cause disease. For example, the human gene Huntington typically contains 6 to 29 tandem repeats of the nucleotides CAG. An expansion to over 36 repeats results in Huntington's disease, a neurodegenerative disease. 20 human disorders are known to result from similar tandem repeat expansions in various genes. The mechanism by which proteins with expanded polygulatamin tracts cause death of neurons is not fully understood. One possibility is that the proteins fail to fold properly and avoid degradation, instead accumulating in aggregates that also sequester important transcription factors thereby altering gene expression. Prokaryotic Genomes Eukaryotic Genomes Coding Sequences Non-coding Sequences Tandem Repeats Tandem repeats are usually caused by slippage during replication, unequal crossing over, and gene conversion. Transposable elements are sequences of DNA with a defined structure that are able to change their location in the genome. TES are categorized as either class I TES, which replicate by a copy and paste mechanism, or class II TES, which can be excised from the genome and inserted at a new location. The movement of TES is a driving force of genome evolution in eukaryotes because their insertion can disrupt gene functions, homologous recombination between TES can produce duplications, and TE can shuffle exons and regulatory sequences to new locations. Transposable Elements Retrotransposons can be transcribed into RNA which are then duplicated at another site into the genome. Retrotransposons can be divided into long-terminal repeats and non-long-terminal repeats. Long-terminal repeats are derived from ancient retroviral infections, so they encode proteins related to retroviral proteins including GAG, PAL, PRO, and in some cases ENV genes. These genes are flanked by long repeats at both 5 and 3 ends. It has been reported that LTRs consist of the largest fraction in most plant genome and might account for the huge variation in genome size. Non-long terminal repeats are classified as long interspersed elements, short interspersed elements, and Penelope-like elements. In Dictyostelium discoidium, there is another DIRS-like elements belong to non-LTRS. 
Non-LTRS are widely spread in eukaryotic genomes. Long interspersed elements encode genes for reverse transcriptase and endonuclease, making them autonomous transposable elements. The human genome has around 500,000 lines, taking around 17% of the genome. Short interspersed elements are usually less than 500 base pairs and are non-autonomous, so they rely on the proteins encoded by lines for transposition. The ALU element is the most common sign found in primates. It is about 350 base pairs and occupies about 11% of the human genome with around 1,500,000 copies. DNA transposons encode a transposase enzyme between inverted terminal repeats. When expressed, the transposase recognizes the terminal inverted repeats that flank the transposon and catalyzes its excision and reinsertion in a new site. This cut and paste mechanism typically reinserts transposons near their original location. DNA transposons are found in bacteria and make up 3% of the human genome and 12% of the genome of the roundworm C. elegans. Genome size is the total number of DNA base pairs in one copy of a haploid genome. In humans, the nuclear genome comprises approximately 3.2 billion nucleotides of DNA, divided into 24 linear molecules. The shortest 50000000 nucleotides in length and the longest 260000000 nucleotides, each contained in a different chromosome. The genome size is positively correlated with the morphological complexity among prokaryotes and lower eukaryotes, however, after mollusks and all the other higher eukaryotes above. This correlation is no longer effective. This phenomenon also indicates the mighty influence coming from repetitive DNA act on the genomes. Retrotransposons Since genomes are very complex, one research strategy is to reduce the number of genes in a genome to the bare minimum and still have the organism in question survive. There is experimental work being done on minimal genomes for single-cell organisms as well as minimal genomes for multicellular organisms. The work is both in vivo and in silico. Here is a table of some significant or representative genomes. See number C also for lists of sequenced genomes. DNA transposons Initial Sequencing and Analysis of the Human Genome Genome Size Genomic Alterations Genome Evolution All the cells of an organism originate from a single cell, so they are expected to have identical genomes, however, in some cases, differences arise. Both the process of copying DNA during cell division and exposure to environmental mutagens can result in mutations in somatic cells. In some cases, such mutations lead to cancer because they cause cells to divide more quickly and invade surrounding tissues. In certain lymphocytes in the human immune system, VJ recombination generates different genomic sequences such that each cell produces a unique antibody or T cell receptors. During meiosis, diploid cells divide twice to produce haploid germ cells. During this process, recombination results in a reshuffling of the genetic material from homologous chromosomes so each gamete has a unique genome. Genomes are more than the sum of an organism's genes and have traits that may be measured and studied without reference to the details of any particular genes and their products. Researchers compare traits such as karyotype, genome size, gene order, codon usage bias, and GC content to determine what mechanisms could have produced the great variety of genomes that exist today.
Duplications play a major role in shaping the genome. Duplication may range from extension of short tandem repeats, to duplication of a cluster of genes, and all the way to duplication of entire chromosomes or even entire genomes. Such duplications are probably fundamental to the creation of genetic novelty. Horizontal gene transfer is invoked to explain how there is often an extreme similarity between small portions of the genomes of two organisms that are otherwise very distantly related. Horizontal gene transfer seems to be common among many microbes. Also, eukaryotic cells seem to have experienced a transfer of some genetic material from their chloroplast and mitochondrial genomes to their nuclear chromosomes. Recent empirical data suggest an important role of viruses and subviral RNA networks to represent a main driving role to generate genetic novelty in natural genome editing. Works of science fiction illustrate concerns about the availability of genome sequences. Michael Crichton's 1990 novel Jurassic Park and the subsequent film tell the story of a billionaire who creates a theme park of cloned dinosaurs on a remote island, with disastrous outcomes. A geneticist extracts dinosaur DNA from the blood of ancient mosquitoes and fills in the gaps with DNA from modern species to create several species of dinosaurs. A chaos theorist is asked to give his expert opinion on the safety of engineering an ecosystem with the dinosaurs, and he repeatedly warns that the outcomes of the project will be unpredictable and ultimately uncontrollable. These warnings about the perils of using genomic information are a major theme of the book. The 1997 film Gattaca is set in a futurist society where genomes of children are engineered to contain the most ideal combination of their parents' traits, and metrics such as risk of heart disease and predicted life expectancy are documented for each person based on their genome. People conceived outside of the eugenics program, known as invalids suffer discrimination and are relegated to menial occupations. The protagonist of the film is an invalid who works to defy the supposed genetic odds and achieve his dream of working as a space navigator. The film warns against a future where genomic information fuels prejudice and extreme class differences between those who can and can't afford genetically engineered children. In Fiction